Hi, everybody. It's still December 6, 2018. I have some concerning comments regarding this heater that I, um, the video that I posted earlier about this portable heater. I want to read them. I don't know anything about this heater, so I'm going with, well, I've gotten some conflicting comments. Some people think it's great and some people don't, um, but you're going to have to make your own decision, do some research. One person said the Martin propane heater is better because it has a thermostat. It saves on propane. It's more expensive. I don't know how much more expensive, but I think this is the Martin portable propane heater but it's currently unavailable. I don't like I don't like the Amazon, the eBay, the Walmart, but um, that's yeah, I used to buy a lot from Amazon books and I can't do it anymore, but uh, this is the first thing that came up. All right. Um, the thermostat apparently saves a lot on money. And this is a concerning comment. Don't use the ones that need a small green tank. You need not pay that much. If you get a small refillable tank, you can get them smaller than the 20 pound size. Get a tree and you can run a heater. I don't know, I don't know, even know what that means. A light, a burner, all right, so he also said, or she said, they will burn oxygen. They will all burn oxygen. They are not for indoors, though they say they are. Do not leave them on when you go to sleep. Do not. Missing the best saxophone player I ever named with because someone shut a window on him. Um, well, that might have been one of those autocorrect things that don't correct at all. Bundle up, wake up, and restart your heater. So do not leave it on when you go to sleep or have some ventilation going. I also got a comment from someone who said, for those who are chemically sensitive, and I am, um, the smell of propane may not work for you. So I'm going to show you some ways to heat without that kind of smell in a second. But another person wrote, I just bought a kerosene heater for under $90. Heats over 1,000 square feet. I'm using it for backup in case of no power. Um, I wrote, what kind did you buy? So if you want to know what kind he bought, please check later underneath this video that I posted earlier. Can't afford a generator. All right, so uh, just a few tips from someone that uses one of these daily in a small place, small space. Those small green cans are not economical, and they never seem to last long enough during periods of regular use. You are better off getting a hose attachment designed to go with the heater, most say on the package, um, and a larger refillable propane cylinder. You still need to ventilate somewhat to avoid the low oxygen shutoff safety feature. You will also need to circulate air, and she uses a fan, to avoid the buildup of condensation that is common, especially with daily or extended use. Also be aware it has an open flame and take safety precautions for children and pets. Animal fur, <coughs> especially long fur, catches fire merely by wagging a tail or brushing against the front of the heater. Both animals and children could get singed by just being a little bit too close for a few minutes too long. So please never leave pets or children unsupervised during operation. 
a pet or child barricade uh, will give the safe distance. So thank you for writing these comments. There were other comments, so you can go look underneath the video here. You can get buddy heaters at Walmart for $74, which is cheaper than the one that I showed in that video. They do make a connector for it, so you can run a bigger propane tank on it if you need to. So apparently those little green cans only last, well, one person said they last maybe like two hours. Now, for people who are chemically sensitive, check out the concrete bricks and alcohol heater on a channel called Desert Sun 02. All right, I'm going to, is this Desert Sun? Because I have two channels here. Uh, a candle-powered space heater. Check out this channel. It's a do-it-your-own. Um, and, well, he seems to have a lot of do-it-your-owns. And has many different types of heaters. And air conditioners. And rocket stoves. Let me turn this off. Um, some cool stuff. For those who still have the energy and brain <laughs> to put it together. You know, it's so odd. God, this life. Uh, I had done so much research on all of these kinds of things years ago. And I had prepped. I had a lot of food and stuff. But let me tell you, when you do find yourself having lost it all, the home, everything, routines, continuity, you, you're surviving just every day. And, you know, when you're moving around, um, you can't lug everything that you've prepped. So, yeah, it's weird to have gotten to a place where everything that I had researched and everything that I had stocked is gone. Even my memory in terms of some of the things that I was, um, I got all of the, you know, pieces together to do all of this stuff. God, well, yeah, he also, let's see, a homemade metal can air heater. And they, he and hey, the there, other sister. person goes through, it's very simple, but look at this coal stove. Um, six blocks, and voila, you've got two burners here. Hey there, this is just a quick vid. Now, you have just a different setup for this stove. Now, how, what he has put inside it, you know, a lot of what he has put inside are really little, some of this stuff you can buy at the, um, dollar store. Um, he's got this other heater that he uses tuna cans. So this is inexpensive do-it-your-own stoves, heaters. It's very cool. And I want to thank everybody for putting up these videos. I'm hey, sure they have helped a lot of people. Here's a water filter, and the brick pile air heater. And this, he uses these tuna cans. 400 degrees Fahrenheit, uses no electricity. He has another one here. And uh, this channel, he talks about how to make a small emergency space heater with toilet paper, just alcohol that you buy in a supermarket, um, and a coffee can or a quart size paint can. And he just turns this into a heater. Very cheap um, and, yeah, very a very good way to uh, keep yourself warm when you 
have to. And he puts in rocks to control the flames coming out of it. All right, guys, I'll link below to I'll link below to all of it. I needed to post this because of what people were saying. Uh, more, more that they were saying that they could be dangerous if you're not careful. All right, guys, have a good night.